You know what blows my mind about this um, news conference is only the women reporters, correspondents, had the audacity to ask the hard questions. Where the men that stood up asked namby pamby, run of the mill, you know, questions that couldn't possibly get them in trouble. Because as we all know, all the men in Russia who go up against Putin either end up dead, poisoned, or missing. And this question is really good. It's about, well, I'll let you guys hear it and judge for yourself. Hold on. Thank you. I'm Sorry, please, if you wouldn't mind, I'm from Canada in Moscow. Um, you said to a couple of my colleagues you wanted unbiased, fair questions and coverage. I have a fair question for you. It actually comes from my nine-year-old daughter who asked me before I left to come here, what is the big deal with the summit? And it's quite a complicated answer for a nine-year-old. So I'd like you to explain to us, uh, in your own words, Mr. President, why is this relationship so complicated? And also, she'd like to know, and I'd like to know, why are young people not allowed to protest in Russia? Yes, that's great that you're now your own daughter. It's interesting these questions. The answer is very simple. You need to look around yourself. You need to see how beautiful the world is. And uh, adults, the leaders of two countries, the biggest nuclear powers, are meeting. They're doing that in order to make the world safer, more reliable. And a place for everyone at home, for everyone to flourish, for all those who live on our planet. And they're doing that, they're addressing the issues that have to do with a terrible weapon, which needs to be limited. They need to draw a common rules on referring to using those weapons. They talked about protecting the environment, about rivers, about clean, about seas, about there not being any floods, there not being any droughts, about providing food to everyone on the planet, where they are. And they'll talk about issues of health care, so that when children grow up, they get sick less often, they have the opportunity to study, and they have the opportunity to look at the future confidently, and I hope that at our meeting, I hope that you will cover our meeting based on those considerations in particular. I thank you for your attention. All the best. Well, I don't know if you could even believe what you just saw. This is Outnumbered. I'm Harris Faulkner. Here today, my co-hosts, Emily Campagno, Kaylee McEnany. Also with us, Fox News correspondent Jillian Turner. And in the virtual center seat, get ready. The very first time, former Secretary of State under President Trump, Mike Pompeo. Secretary, I, I want to say just a couple of words before I come to you. I, let me pick them closely and, and carefully. We saw that president of Russia answering more questions in front of the media longer than I can remember either the current president or his vice president combined in terms of time and numbers of questions. Secretary. Harris, that was pretty remarkable. I don't know how long it went on, 40, 45 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit more. Yes. Tons of questions from a wide variety of people, listened to them all, tried to respond to them in a serious way. Uh, he is a trained KGB officer for sure in the way he responded. There's a lot to unpack there, and I'm sure we'll get a chance to do that. But it also, Harris, highlighted how important it would have been to have President Biden standing there beside you. Yes. Him, because I know some of the things he, I know some of the things he said there are fundamentally false. He, he doesn't reflect the reality of the world and how he speaks. He is a trained propagandist. And you didn't have an American president standing there saying, wait a minute, that's not right, and confronting it. Well, not only that, somebody made the decision with Biden going last to make this all about Putin. I mean, you just gave 
a killer, even though our president doesn't want to call him that. Secretary, I'd be curious of, of your thoughts on why that would be. But you said don't let this happen. You said it makes the current president look weak and that this is a failure. You said that going into it. And now maybe it's a little bit more clear. No American flag up there when these things, no American president, no pushback, none of that. And you can imagine that Biden now, Secretary, will be asked about what? Exactly what Putin just said. Everything he just said, what do you think? What did he say? He didn't even answer the question about why young people are not allowed to protest in the streets of Russia. To create uh, uh, the context for moral equivalence between the United States and Russia on mm -hmm. every front, whether he was talking about BLM or protesters or our judicial system, right? He talked about his protesters. But when we have a problem here, it goes to court. He's a little a Napoleon. Foundation. They have none of that. And he got, to, he got free reign to go on for all of that time and to the world spout this propaganda without to your point, an American standing beside him saying, no, that's not Better get some about. Bitcoin, right. people, because these the guys running the show don't know what they're it, it doing, was, and they're going to drive our economy the that was and our country right into the ground. So get ready, folks. confront this, even if it is just a 